Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel, Gajpal A Learning. In this video we are going to study about the topic, assay of magnesium sulfate, calcium carbonate and calcium gluconate carried out by complexometric titration. So let's start. First, assay of magnesium sulfate carried out by complexometric titration. The assay of magnesium sulfate, MgSO4, by complexometric titration involves determining the concentration of magnesium icons, Mg2+, in a sample of magnesium sulfate. This can be done using a chelating agent, typically ethylindiamine tetraacetic acid, EDTA, as the tetrant. Here's a detailed step-by-step -step procedure for this complexometric titration assay. Apparatus and reagents used. A. Puret. A calibrated burette for delivering the EDTA tetrant accurately. B. Erlenmeyer flask, a clean and dry 250 ml Erlenmeyer flask for the titration. C. Indicator, aerochrome black T, EBT, is a common indicator for magnesium complexometric titrations. Prepare an EBT solution by dissolving EBT in distilled water. The indicator changes color from wine red to blue at the end point. D. Standard EDTA solution, prepare a standardized EDTA solution by accurately weighing and dissolving pure EDTA in distilled water. Determine its exact concentration by titrating it against a known concentration of a primary standard calcium solution. A. Sample solution, dissolve the magnesium sulfate sample in distilled water and transfer it to the Erlenmeyer flask. The solution should be clear and free from any impurities. Procedure. First. Preparation of sample solution. Weigh an accurately measured amount of the magnesium sulfate sample into a clean Erlenmeyer flask. Add distilled water to dissolve the sample completely. If the solution contains any insoluble impurities, filter it to obtain a clear solution. Second, adding the indicator. Add a few drops of the EBT indicator solution to the sample solution in the Erlenmeyer flask. The solution will turn wine red initially due to the formation of the magnesium EBT complex. Third, titration. Fill the burette with the standardized EDTA solution. Slowly add the EDTA solution to the sample solution while swirling the flask continuously. The EDTA will react with the magnesium icons, forming a stable complex, and the wine red color will begin to change to blue. The color change signals the end point. Continue adding the EDTA solution drop by drop until the blue color persists for at least 30 seconds. This is the end point. Fourth, recording the volume. Record the volume of the EDTA solution used to reach the end point from the burette. Fifth, calculations. Use the volume of the EDTA solution and its known concentration to calculate the amount of magnesium icons in the sample. The equation for the reaction is Mg2 plus plus EDTA to give MGEDTA complex. Determine the moles of magnesium present in the sample and calculate its mass or concentration as needed. Sixth, precautions. Ensure that all glassware is clean and free from contaminants. Perform the titration carefully, adding the EDTA solution drop by drop near the endpoint to avoid overshooting. Standardize the EDTA solution accurately using a primary standard. Maintain a consistent pH during the titration, as deviations can affect the accuracy of the results. By following this detailed procedure, you can assay the magnesium sulfate sample using complexometric titration with EDTA as the titrant and EBT as the indicator. This method allows for the precise determination of magnesium icons in the sample. Second, assay of calcium carbonate carried out by complexometric titration. Apparatus and reagents used. First, Burette, a calibrated burette for delivering the EDTA tetrant accurately. Second, Erlenmeyer flask, a clean and dry 250 ml Erlenmeyer flask for the titration. Third, indicator, aerochrome black T, EBT, is commonly used as an indicator for calcium complexometric titrations. Fourth, standard EDTA solution, prepare a standardized EDTA solution by accurately weighing and dissolving pure EDTA in distilled water. Determine its exact concentration by titrating it against a known concentration of a primary standard calcium solution. Fifth, sample solution. Dissolve the calcium carbonate sample in distilled water. The solution should be clear and free from impurities. Procedure. First, preparation of sample solution. Weigh an accurately measured amount of calcium carbonate into a clean Erlenmeyer flask. Add distilled water to dissolve the calcium carbonate completely. Second, 
Adding the indicator. Add a few drops of the EBT indicator solution to the sample solution in the Erlenmeyer flask. Third, titration. Fill the burette with the standardized EDTA solution. Slowly add the EDTA solution to the sample solution while swirling the flask continuously. The EDTA will react with the calcium icons, forming a stable complex, and the wine red color will begin to change to blue. The color change signals the endpoint. Continue adding the EDTA solution drop by drop until the blue color persists for at least 30 seconds. This is the end point. Fourth, recording the volume. Record the volume of the EDTA solution used to reach the end point from the burette. Fifth, calculations. Use the volume of the EDTA solution and its known concentration to calculate the amount of calcium icons in the sample, and subsequently, the percentage of calcium carbonate. Third, Assay of calcium gluconate carried out by complexometric titration. Apparatus and reagents used. First, burette, a calibrated burette for delivering the EDTA titrant accurately. Second, Erlenmeyer flask, a clean and dry 250 ml Erlenmeyer flask for the titration. Indicator, aerochrome black T, EBT, is commonly used as an indicator for calcium complexometric titrations. Third, standard EDTA solution. Prepare a standardized EDTA solution by accurately weighing and dissolving pure EDTA in distilled water. Determine its exact concentration by titrating it against a known concentration of a primary standard calcium solution. Fourth, sample solution, calcium gluconate, dissolve a known amount of calcium gluconate in distilled water. The solution should be clear and free from impurities. Procedure, similar to the previous procedure. First, preparation of sample solution. Weigh an accurately measured amount of calcium gluconate into a clean Erlenmeyer flask. Add distilled water to dissolve the calcium gluconate completely. Second, adding the indicator. Add a few drops of the EBT indicator solution to the sample solution in the Erlenmeyer flask. Third, titration. Fill the burette with the standardized EDTA solution. Slowly add the EDTA solution to the sample solution while swirling the flask continuously. The EDTA will react with the calcium icons from calcium gluconate, forming a stable complex, and the wine red color will begin to change to blue. The color change signals the endpoint. Continue adding the EDTA solution drop by drop until the blue color persists for at least 30 seconds. This is the endpoint. Fourth, recording the volume. Record the volume of the EDTA solution used to reach the endpoint from the burette. Fifth, calculations. Use the volume of the EDTA solution and its known concentration to calculate the amount of calcium icons present in the calcium gluconate sample, and subsequently, the percentage of calcium gluconate. Precautions. Ensure that all glassware is clean and free from contaminants. Perform the titration carefully, adding the EDTA solution drop by drop near the endpoint to avoid overshooting. Standardize the EDTA solution accurately using a primary standard. Maintain a consistent pH during the titration, as deviations can affect the accuracy of the results. Thanks for watching this video. If are helpful, then please kindly subscribe to our channel. Thank you.